Hi everyone, I'm Anjali. Welcome to my channel. If this is the first time you're coming in, then welcome. Thanks for joining. And if not, then welcome back. I love to make videos. I love to uh, learn about lifestyle, food, health, and those are the kinds of things I share on my channel. I love to travel as well, so you'll see a lot of travel vlogs. And uh, on my Instagram, you'll see a lot of food. You'll see me recommending my favorite things, my favorite movies, TV shows, or uh, books that I read, or anything that really makes my life a little better, I love to share it with my friends. Talk to my friends about that all the time, and they share their tips with me. I thought it was about time I started making videos about it. That's what I do for a living, so why not make them about my favorite things and share some of uh, the best found secrets in my life with all of you. So the first item I wanna share is a little bit seasonal. It's these beautiful pink tulips. These are actually tulips, they look like peonies or ranunculas or something like that, but they are tulips. They're a hybrid tulip, a beautiful blush pink color, which is one of my favorite colors. And it's so pretty. I've never seen a ruffled tulip like this, and I found these at Whole Foods. I just absolutely love them. I had to buy them. And they really make me happy when I just look at them. I need to trim them a little. Um, tulips actually grow towards the sun, so their stems will get longer as they sit in water, and they grow longer as you, as you, have them on your table so I have to trim those again but they're so pretty and I just finished a book which is also on my list of favorite things it's called The Life-Changing Magic of Tidying Up by Mary Kondo and in this book they talk about uh, how you should always surround yourself with things you love and the things that spark joy in you and so those flowers definitely spark joy in me and I love having them around me so that's why they're around and again this book is another one of my favorite things I highly recommend it I've recommended it on my Instagram as well but if you guys haven't checked it out there is the hard copy option obviously but if you don't have a lot of time to read in your daily life then the audiobook is available on YouTube you can check it out and it's free so that's another one of my favorite things. And if we're talking about books, I'm gonna also talk about this book. I love this book. It is Don't Sweat the Small Stuff, and it's all small stuff. And it's written by Richard Carlson. And this is one of my favorite books. I think this is like an all-time favorite, not just an April favorite. But um, this book is really a bunch of le lessons. Every chapter is a new lesson. This one is Don't Interrupt Others or Finish Their Sentences. And I think I did that today, so I'm glad I saw that today. Um, we can all use a little reminder and a mentality check from time to time. So that's what this book is for. And I like reading it. I like um, earmarking the pages, doggy, doggy earing the pages, whatever. If I found something that is really poignant or speaks to me, I will definitely make a note and come back to it. This one is every day tell at least one person something you like, admire, or appreciate about them. And it's a very, very quick read, very short, inspiring. You can just read it a couple of pages is one chapter. Like each chapter is a couple of pages, so you can just read it before you go to bed. You have a nice lesson to think about before you go to sleep. Very relaxing, and I think it's a great practice. My next favorite thing is this Moroccan oil. I love this product, it's so good. It's by Andalou Naturals. Um, I found this brand when I was looking for a natural shampoo, I don't know, a year ago. And then I just recently was looking around and I found this and it smells like roses. Oh, I love the smell. After I wash my hair, I wash my face, sorry, I put it on um, at night and it's so good. It's very soft, it's very moisturizing. It's all natural, non-GMO, gluten-free and vegan. So it's a like healthy and friendly product. And basically it's just for a healthy glow moisturizer and you can use it in your hair too. So it's good for nails, hair, face. I use it on my face at night um, and I love it. And then the same line, I picked up this uh, oil-free moisturizer, which I love, Andalou Naturals. Again, it's like a cruelty-free brand. And I just like it. It's acai and white tea. There's fruit stem cells. It renews, repairs, and regenerates your skin. So I have pretty, like, I have combination skin, but sometimes it can be pretty dry, and this is really good. It's not greasy, and it's not shiny, so um, it's, I love it. I really like it, and it smells nice, too. It's got a, like, citrusy kind of smell. The next item is rose tea. I love this. It's, like, fresh, well, it's fresh roses, rose buds that are dried. It smells like roses, which I think is amazing. It's like aromatherapy when you make a cup of this. And I just put a couple of the buds into hot water and I let it steep for a bit. This has been steeping for mm, 10 minutes probably. 
Mm. And roses are an edible flower. I did get a rose petal there. <laughs> but it smells so good. I love this. After a long day of work or something, it's perfect to cozy up with. It's so beautiful. I wonder if you guys can see those roses in there. It's a very pretty um, scented and there's no caffeine, but tons of health benefits. It's really good for you. So that I actually found at an Asian grocery store and I really, really like it. The next favorite I think is from Forever 21. I bought it a while ago, but I just started wearing it um, more often. And I just started wearing like gold colored jewelry more often. This is costume jewelry, but it's a little tiny elephant and he's so cute. He needs a name, I need to name him. But um, I like it and it's just a perfect little bit of color and pop without being overly shiny or overly flashy. And elephants give good luck and especially when their trunks are up like that, that's a good luck sign in Thailand and India and a lot of cultures believe that I think. And I don't know, sometimes when I wear it, I feel like I had a better day, a happier day or a lucky day, if you will. So for now, this is my good luck charm. So my little Ellie element, whatever. The next um, favorite of the month is this palette by Tarte. It's called Tartlet. I've been staring at this in Sephora for so many months and it was sold out for a long time and then I would go back and it would be there and then I was like, mm, you don't need this, don't buy it. And then finally I was like, okay, my natural colors that I use are all done. So I could, you know, afford to allow myself to buy this because I try not to buy things for no reason. And uh, this is a beautiful natural palette. Tarte is cool because it's actually natural product. So I'm always looking for natural uh, stuff and healthier options when it comes to cosmetics because there's so many chemicals in all the cosmetics. And recently, I don't know what it was, it basically got super itchy one day and um, it bothered me for a week. My skin was just crawling and I couldn't figure out what it was and I changed my soap. I found a really nice uh, body wash which was for like soothing your skin. I used that for a while and then I realized that a, that product also had chemicals in it. So I was like, I was just thinking, you know, where can I find um, chemical free products and I should just find something that's natural. So I'm still looking for a good body wash. Um, but basically I've been on a mission this last month to replace anything that I'm finished in terms of body care or hair care or whatever. Um, I'm replacing it with something natural. So I'll let you know how that goes and if I what I find. But this is one of the things I found for makeup. And I'm wearing it today. Uh, so it's uh, really good. I like it a lot. Natural colors. And um, the dark colors are good for the crease. The light colors are good for your brow bone and the corners of your eye. So I really, really like it a lot. And the last product I want to share with you guys is this tool from Sephora. It is an awesome tool. This is actually to help you put your false lashes on. So you put the glue on, you let it get tacky. And then you use these like, they're kind of like tweezers, but they're rubber, so they're soft. And then you pick it up and you just place it and see how it's curved like your eye. So you just place it like on your eye like that. And then you let it sit and then use this part, the back. Yes, yeah, so and then you just use this tip to poke it in place. And um, I'm not wearing false lashes today, but you could see how that would work. And you just, you can use it to kind of clamp and hold it down so that the glue sticks. I just love this product. Honestly, for me, this was life-changing because I work on television, I'm, wearing, I'm making appearances or hosting events and I need lashes. And so this gave me the power to do it at home myself. So I love it. Anyways, guys, those are my favorite products for the month of April. I hope you liked this video. If you did, please subscribe, leave me a comment, let me know what you thought. I would love to do more monthly favorite videos for you guys if you liked them. Thanks for watching, see you in the next video, and hope you guys join me on Insta and Twitter. Bye.